Yeah, that's my anime girl. She know how to make it work. work. She know how to twerk. Yeah, go me with a skirt. Ori he me with a buzz. Uh, this is Shoujo, so she got a crush. Yeah, yeah, that's my anime girl. She know how to make it work. work. She know how to twerk. twerk. Go me with a skirt. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Kimmy, back with another video. Unfortunately, I didn't have my audio turned on on my camera at this part, so I wasn't able to record my audio. But basically, I'm going to Laser Way to do my appointment for my Brazilian and my underarms. It's in Emeryville, so it's just me walking around, talking. I was trying to show you guys what it looks like and all the fun little stores out there. But then, yeah, there's the room at Laser Way. I'm just showing you guys what it looks like inside. Almost every room at Laser Way looks like this, you know. Simple, clean, straight to the point. But yeah, there's the room. They have all the nice little slim, hairless women on the cover to inspire you to keep coming. Um, but yeah, I am on my fourth session so far. I need to keep going. I think I have nine in total. And they said by the eighth session, you will start to see improvement. It was so loud in the room with the um, cooling machine on that you guys couldn't hear what I was saying, but I was basically just um, showing you guys the room as well as like trying to figure out my camera angle. It's like really hard holding the camera and like trying to figure out like my better angle. Um, but yeah, that's what I was talking about. The ladies are super nice at Laser Away, by the way, too. Like, there's no need to feel, like, awkward or anything because they're seeing your body. You know, they're all women, which I appreciate. Okay. Yeah. That's so weird holding this camera because, like, my right and my left and my left and my right. Anyways, I got a complimentary sunscreen from the guy from, um, laser way so that was pretty cool um yeah okay, so this is what it looks like you can't even freaking see it's so bright outside but yeah it's so awkward doing the vlog because people do look at you so yeah but you know if i get to the not to say that I'm nervous, but it is a little nerve-wracking when people feel like looking at you while you're trying to make the vlog. But yeah, I'm going to go pay for my parking ticket and then go get back in my car and talk to you guys about laser lighting. Alright. I'm probably not going to post this video. Who knows? Mac Cosmetics. It's just a bit nerve wracking making a vlog. And for now, honestly, I'm talking to myself. But yeah, okay, you can see it a bit better here. That's a little complimentary sunscreen they gave me. Because technically, I did get scanned by a laser with my body. <laughs> Gotta watch out for them UVF rays. Hopefully maybe you can hear me in the car. <sighs> wow, I never knew vlogging would be this hard, honestly. Um, yeah, trying to get the angles right of myself. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm in the car, as you can tell, I'm gonna fucking go home, probably go get some stuff from the grocery store to cook dinner with my sister. I do have, I don't know people are walking by which one, <laughs> but I do have a hair appointment at, um, 6.30. Yes, <laughs> I'm gonna get my hair done. I can t get out of this wig. Because I keep it real with y'all. And let's keep it so real. This wig is not even glued on. <laughs> I just have a hat over it. I have to make it to my appointment on time. 
But yeah, I have a hair appointment at 6.30, so I'll vlog that and like show what my hair looks like at the end. But yeah, laser away was cool. It really did hurt this time. Um, this is my first session for the Brazilian and underarm. That's what I'm getting. And oof, that Brazilian was hurting. Like, yeah. But they said by like the, um, the eighth session, Eighth. The eighth session. <laughs> why, did, why the fuck can I say eighth? Whatever. My list. By the the, t the time you go... Whatever. By the time you have gone eight times, <laughs> then you will start to see, like, um, about, like, 70 to 80 percent, like, hair um, removal that won't grow back. Because right now, I'm, like, still seeing hair growing back, and I'm just like, is this shit even working? Like... <laughs> You know, I'm paying like a hundred, almost a hundred dollars a month for it. I think it's like 87 to be exact, um, for the underarms and Brazilian. So, it's a lot of money for it to not work. But, so, yeah, I talked to the nurse today. She was really nice. She was really supportive because that shit was hurting and I was squealing and like, ah! Because <laughs> it hurt. Oh my gosh. And like, there's like this like, um smell it's kind of like a like burns like burnt smell like you know what I mean so I'm like wow they open here really frying me up with that laser but beauty's pain anyways I'll catch you guys in a bit um another thing is like I don't know if you I'm gonna watch the footage back but there was a lot of people looking at me like I was crazy when I was like out there trying to like vlog <laughs> like a like a youtuber which is what I want to be and what I want to do like on the side so like you know I gotta get used to it but like whoa the people are staring honey <laughs> anyways catch you guys in a bit okay YouTube I'm back and I'm still in the car why am I still in the car you're wondering well I was flat tire and stuck waiting for um AAA to come and tow my car and this really sucks because I have my hair appointment at 6 30 and I hope that <sighs> I'll be able to get a new tire in time and I really don't want to be late to the appointment because the girl was like oh please make sure you're not late please be on time and I was like oh I'm gonna be on time I'm gonna be on time I promise so irritating um yeah so I'm still stuck at Bay Street that is my flat tire oh yeah I'm literally stuck here I'm waiting because it was gonna be like a hundred minutes, like, whoa, that's a long time. Uh, so I'm just really hoping that I can get my car towed or either they put the spare tire on for me. There was a Karen. My arm is getting tired. <laughs> um, but no, there was um, a Karen who got mad at me and she was like, yelling at me for being parked here and I was just like you know because I am in a disability spot and I feel really bad about that so I'm just like my car literally has a flat tire and I don't know what you want me to do about that I like want to move but I'm like stuck you know <sighs> she didn't want to hear it she had a horrible attitude with me and she just like honestly kind of stormed away from me and like yelled at me and then she's been like circling the block like me mugging me I really wish I could move my car but I can't like I don't want to run the risk, the, the risk of like um you guys like my nail set there <laughs> sidetrack nail check yes but no um I don't want to mess my car up even more if I just like drive further with the tire so I don't know, I just kind of want to stay here until they come and get me or like, I don't know, fix my car. 
Hopefully there's not any more like disabled old people that get mad at me like because I feel bad. I'll check in with you guys soon. There goes the police driving away. You can't even see, but they were driving away. I've also been paranoid that like if I leave my car, I'm gonna come back and like get a ticket or something. So like I called um, Plaza Security and checked in with them. The camera has a low battery, so I'm gonna go. Okay, what's up YouTube? I'm back. Um, as you can see, I'm in my room. Last time you saw me, I was in Emeryville with a flat tire. So I got my car towed and I went home, um, bought a new tire. It was so crazy. Like, what the heck? Um, and then I have a hair appointment at 6.30, you guys. And so... I'm gonna keep your wig short, but I got to the hair appointment and the girl was just telling me she felt like my wig wasn't like good quality and like she didn't think it was gonna look good to do it. So honestly, I just left with no wig on my head and my money and basically I'm trying to do the wig myself. So right now I'm just trying to lay the wig down and flatten it and like, you know, try and style it and Hopefully I can get this wig to look good, you know, because I paid $200 for it. Um, and it's to the point where I can't return it anymore, because I've had the wig for a while, and, like, um, not to, like, like, you know, but the girl, she bleached the knots of the wig, so at this point, like, I was just like, fuck it, I have to try and do it myself, you know, or I could find someone else to um, put it on for me, but like I really wanted a hairdo for the rest of this week, so mm, we'll see how it looks, but yeah, so far, this is what it's looking like, you know, I've been trying to pluck it and straighten it, and I'm going to try and crimp it, so I'm going to check back in with y'all once I get it looking a little more settled, but alright, catch y'all in a bit. I have the crimper right there. I got the, um, got to be glue, spray spray, because I've been seeing people use this one. I usually just use, like, the, um, one in the bottle. Yeah, I got a comb, got tweezers, I got a little razor blade, and I have some powder, my Fenty Beauty powder to try and, um, put on the lace to match my skin, so, we'll see. Okay, I'm back to <laughs> YouTube. Um, so this is the wig so far. Um, you see I've tried to do a side part, some little edges, um, I've been up since, like, I was up till 12 a.m., like, trying to braid my hair, <sighs> and then the braids weren't coming out nice and flat because I had these nails, so it was really hard to braid my hair, and I was just like, oh, if I don't get the braids flat enough, the wig isn't going to look nice, because, like, in the back, it's, like, kind of bulky, because, um, I did get lazy <laughs> towards the back of my head. So, yeah, I'm going to tie the wig down as a scarf and just hope for the best. I feel like, <coughs> you see, I've tried to, like, I'm going to put a little more makeup on right here. Um, but, yeah, I feel like this is the best I could do. Um, I'm not going to stress it because, you know, I feel a bad bitch at the end of the day. And it is a wig, like, bitch, call me out about it. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'll be back, hopefully, I'm gonna head to work, honestly, I did all this work to look so good to go to work, but whatever, shit, no, you